Well, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for staying around while we um, did our judging. Um, what a really amazing and uh, eclectic uh, collection of works we, we've heard this evening. Um, this is um, week six of our annual music competition and, of course, the second of our ensemble rounds. And for those of you who are new, I will do my usual speech just to tell you a bit about um, the, the building you're in and, and the, the organization that we are. The Royal Overseas League is a not-for-profit international membership organization. We have members in over 100 countries of the world. Um, we come out of uh, Commonwealth roots, and so we have um, particular uh, pockets of membership in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, South Africa um, in particular, but, but um, our members gravitate towards our clubhouse here from all over the world. We have 83 bedrooms upstairs, bars and restaurants, and a lovely garden to hang out in. Um, but for 70 years, we've had this uh, incredible arts program, which I have the privilege uh, to run. And uh, the, the bit that makes it 70 years old is our annual music competition. We award nearly £80,000 worth of prize money each year to young musicians uh, from all over the world um, over these various section finals. Um, and, and we follow that up with as much activity as we possibly can for these young musicians. We'll be organising in the region 70 to 80 concerts um, for our prize winners um, this year, in, including 30 at the Edinburgh Fringe in August. Uh, we have a whole visual arts programme. We do artist residences. Um, we sponsor the Youth Orchestra of Antigua and Barbuda and support um, the education there. We're about to start working with the National Youth Orchestra of Kenya and with online tuition and various um, residential courses that we're going to be going to um, support. So all sorts of amazing work that we do. Um, but the AMC, as we call it, our annual music competition, really is um, the, the sort of jewel in the crown for us. And we're looking forward to the 7th of July at Wigmore Hall, which is um, the gold medal final, where our four soloists will compete for the gold medal and our two ensemble prize winners will come and um, also perform as well. Um, so, to this evening, well, I absolutely love this round because uh, obviously last week with our ensembles we had string quartets and piano trios, quite uh, traditional um, groups, but, but um, with this round anything could turn up, all sorts of brilliant combinations. And um, really the, there is never a year where I don't learn a lot of uh, new pieces and repertoire that I really have never heard um, before, and we certainly had a great example of that um, this evening. Um, otherwise, in terms of, un of judging these ensembles, we're not looking for anything different from, from quartets and trios. We're, we're looking for a collective musical intent and a vision. We're looking at how the various instruments blend with each other. Um, and we're looking at the, the repertoire they choose and how successful those interpretations were. And um, really, what a fantastic evening we've had. Four absolutely stupendous groups. So I think, first of all, let's offer them all another round of applause for that. I'd like to introduce you to our brilliant um, panel of judges who've joined me um, for this week. Um, firstly, on my left here, this is Simon Callahan. Simon is a Steinway artist, he's a pianist, uh, who's performed as a soloist, chamber musician in Asia, North America, Europe, and of course, all over the UK. Um, as well as having a repertoire of over 50 concertos, and uh, also huge swathes of the standard repertoire, Simon is particularly concentrated on championing the music of British composers who have perhaps been somewhat overlooked. His PhD um, thesis and accompanying recording with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra was on the music of uh, Roger Sashvarel Cook, who, is, uh, who wrote some amazing music that really wasn't well enough known. So I urge you to go and listen to that. It's fantastic stuff. Um, I don't really know anyone um, performing today who's made more CD recordings than Simon. I don't know how he does it, but there seems to be an album coming out pretty much every month from, from Simon. He's currently recording for the Larita label, presenting uh, world premiere recordings of British concertos uh, with Martin Brabins and the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. And by the end of 2023, we'll have completed four discs for Hyperion in their romantic uh, piano series. His recital partners and collaborators include Raphael Valfish, Adrian Brendel, Sheku Kane Mason, uh, Nick Daniel, Samuel West, Brunella Scales, Timothy West and Miriam Margulies. Uh, and Simon is also director of the brilliant um, Sunday concert series at Conway Hall, which is one of the longest running uh, series of concerts um, ever, really. And uh, it does an amazing job there. So thank you very much, Simon, for being with us. And next to Simon is Melinda Maxwell, one of the UK's most highly regarded oboists. Uh, Melinda is principal oboe of Endymion Ensemble and the, and the Birmingham Contemporary Music Group and regularly plays principal with uh, London Sinfonietta. 
She has uh, performed with many orchestras and ensembles, including English Chamber Orchestra, Academy of St. Martin and Fields, Orchestra of St. John, BBC Symphony Orchestra, and many film sessions with the London Metropolitan Orchestra. Um, Melinda specializes particularly in contemporary repertoire and has commissioned works from composers including Simon Bainbridge, Sir Harrison Birtwistle, Simon Holt, Nicholas Moore, and her solo CD recordings have twice been voted uh, CD of the Month for BBC Music Magazine. She has taught at the Royal Academy of Music, Trinity College of Music, and the Royal Northern College of Music, where she was head of Woodwind uh, 2001 to 2004, and then consultant in Woodwind Studies until 2017. And I can vouch, I was a clarinet student at the Royal Northern College of Music when Melinda was there, and she did some very scary improvisation classes <laughs> that I did. And I can confirm that Melinda is an amazing improviser, and I am not. <laughs> Uh, but absolutely brilliant. She's the oboe tutor for the National Youth Orchestra. Uh, she also has a master's in jazz performance uh, and is currently working on a PhD at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire in composition, improvisation, and performance. So thank you very much, Melinda. <laughs> And finally, the incomparable Gavin Henderson, CBE, who is our chair of the panel tonight. Gavin has chaired panels in this competition for, I think, over 15 years now. Um, he's run uh, pretty much everything you can think of. It is unique in having run symphony orchestras, festivals, and education uh, establishments. He's run Dartington Festival, the Philharmonia Orchestra, Trinity College of Music, uh, and his last job was running the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. Um, there really is nothing he, he, he doesn't know. And interestingly, the Elizabeth Lutyens piece, which we heard um, from the first ensemble, was commissioned by Gavin. Um, so there you go. And uh, so it's over to Gavin that, that, I, that I hand the baton to tell us the news. Thank you, Gavin. Well, uh, Jeff, thank you very, very much. And uh, as ever, um, we must pay tribute to Jeff and the team and all the support that comes from the Royal Overseas League. It's a, it's a truly extraordinary setup, this. And I think all the ensembles, take, all the artists taking part do feel that there, there's a tremendous, tremendous warmth and welcome and sensitivity about the way in which this competition is organized. So, Jeff, thank you very much. <laughs> We have had the most extraordinary evening. Well, all these evenings are extraordinary here. Uh, this is one of the most difficult ones to adjudicate because everything is, is different. Uh, the, the, there are no kind of common factors that one can, uh, can tra track through the, the, these very different ensembles. Uh, but it's been a very stimulating evening. And uh, one, we have come to a conclusion. Um, and. Uh, there was some discussion. As always, I, I say that you know, when, when it's not absolutely unanimous, that does mean to some of the others who uh, don't come forward and win the uh, overall prize tonight that you were somebody's first choice. Um, however, uh, I also say that it, you know, encourage people to come back. And so if you haven't uh, made it through tonight, do think about returning next year. It's worth it because tonight's ensemble winning, uh, they have been before, and we're very pleased to say that Connaught Brass are the winners. So huge congratulations to Connell Press and to everyone who performed this evening. Um, we have one more week of the competition next week. It's the overseas final, which is a wonderful evening. We have two singers, a pianist and a violinist competing for our overseas award. And they all come from Australia and New Zealand. So we celebrate our Commonwealth roots in that evening. So do come back um, for that evening. Uh, but in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful, safe trip home. And thank you very much indeed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>